Scorpio, Scorpios, how are you guys doing? I hope everybody is doing very, very blessed and very happy today. We're going to get into your reading that I have in front of me right now. This is going to be an energy poll. Um, we're going to see if we could get into other things as well. But if this resonates for you, Scorpio, the link will be in the description box below when it comes to the playlist and also when it comes to how to reach me for personal readings. I did post on my community wall the new packages for the, the 22nd of this month, okay? Because the old packages, I extended it all the way from last month because it was late for me to send out. So I extended it to the, tw the 21st of this month and that's going to be the expiration for it. And then new packages will start on the 22nd, okay? So if you haven't booked with me already, go ahead and do that because I'm not going to grant any past prices, okay? So, with that said, um, I'm like tapped into your energy, but this is a general. This is not going to resonate for every Scorpio out there, so take what resonates and throw out the rest. Happy Wednesday, by the way. Um, it's, I love hump day, okay, because it's like closer to Friday, and it's then it's a new week on Monday, so just, you know, I'm just looking forward to the new week. Um, but I hope that everyone is at a great place in their lives right now. Light is shining. It's peaceful like this. It's a little cold. Thank God I got my sweater on because it's the weather. It's just changing just like that. Like, it's crazy how Atlanta have changed, you know, I, for like the past five years since I've been here. Like, it wasn't always like this. We had like good weather up until like even November you know, or December. So if for it to change so early, oh my gosh, it's crazy. Um, but anyway, I, I'm seeing a lot of energy here, okay? I'm seeing some kind of deceit. And the, the thing about your energy is like, I'm always getting some kind of an energy that is trying to discredit you or an energy that is trying to like make your life hard. And I'm always seeing some kind of like, lies and betray like someone around you that you love that you love Scorpio because I'm seeing like this is someone that you care about that is lying to you and this person truly doesn't care about if you're going to be in their future or not like this is what I'm seeing like this person that is after you is really shady and you have nothing but love for this person that's what I'm picking up here Another thing that I'm seeing is another five of swords. I'm seeing like you're going to be receiving this force of information. And something about this energy is like this person wasn't trying to give you an offer. Like, it's like this was up in the air. Maybe, maybe not. I feel like this person, like this deceit and lies and betrayal with you happened very quickly. It happened very quickly with the eight of uh, wands energy, like coming, like, like rushing through. <sighs> That's another thing that I'm picking up. But I feel like you're going to be in your power, but you're also taking back your power. But it's like you're giving this person the benefit of a doubt. That's what I'm getting here with the four of cups energy. Like you're sitting there being patient. And then you have the temperance right next to you. Your angels are also guiding you, so you're heavily protected. And it's like you're saying to yourself to, cho to, to choose to trust the process. Something about this process, like you're choosing to protect yourself within this energy. And to be patient. And I, I feel like a lot of prayer is being done here. A lot of manifestation as well. I'm also getting that you are very much in this pause energy unless you're dating another Scorpio. But you are trying to figure out what's going on with this five of, five of Wands energy. And here comes the shadiness. So a lot of these people that you're arguing with could be friends or family. And you're really stuck on this. Like, you're really stuck trying to find out, like, what happened here. Like, someone was very shady to you. I feel like this person is jealous of you with this uh, 
Knight of Swords energy. They were never trying to give you that stability. This could also be someone that you were with. It's crazy within the lovers. This could be a Gemini for those of you as well. Take that for whoever needs it. But there's a contract here, so there's a past connection. You know, a lot of you could have been raised together. Um, this person could have been your childhood sweetheart or something or the other. And you cannot believe this to see, like, wow. I'm also seeing the king of cups, not the king, the knight, excuse me, where this person is very prideful to ask you for another chance or they're very dramatic energy. But I'm seeing like there is going to be an opportunity within the star here to try to fix this because there is a contract here. This is why the universe is coming into play because of that energy. Okay, tell me more. Wow, you have the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Devil, you have the Seven of Cups, you have the Two of Pentacles, you have the Hangman. You also have the Empress here in reverse. You have the High Front, the Six of Swords energy, the Eight of Pentacles. Wow. All right, so a lot of stubbornness within the High Front, codependent energy as well. I feel like a lot of you are walking away from this person because there's a lot of loss. And I feel like you are learning from this as well, Scorpio. I'm going to get entwined with this person's energy in a minute, but who this could be or what their intentions is this their intentions are when it comes to you but I just feel like I'm seeing like an energy of you know you moving on from this huge loss here from this huge codependency energy okay okay so the wheel of fortune is here so I'm also picking up some kind of you know, cycle that needs to end here. You're also dealing with this devil energy in reverse. So this person is acknowledging the fact that they have an addiction, like they have, like this is who they are, it is what it is kind of energy. I'm also seeing that this is a seven of cups here too. So there is a lot of different people that is involved here. The seven of swords, the seven of cups, the five of wands, the five of swords. I mean, it's a lot of people. This person is juggling both. Another thing that I'm picking up is like this person is saying one thing over here and then they're saying one thing over here. They're not taking responsibility within the hangman. They're acting like your empress. You know, I'm getting these cards for you, Scorpio. Like this person played their part. That's what I'm hearing. Like this person played a part here within this connection when it comes to you, okay? This camera is a little different. I'm realizing that it's just a lot different. Maybe I need to go into settings somehow, but it's really different. It's kind of closer to me in a way. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, let me tap in. I'm going to have my tissue throughout the reading, so if you're grossed out, I'm sorry. I can't help it. I can't, okay? Period. And for those, I, ha I saw a comment. Somebody said, why don't you blow your nose before... Girl, do you have allergies? Do you do you suffer from allergies? If you do, then you know it doesn't even matter, okay? It's just ease. <laughs> it's like you're, you know, I'm not going to get into that. That's, oh, that's, that's disgusting. I'm not going to even get into that. But it's like your best friend that comes every month, okay? Period, point blank. Doesn't matter, all right? I don't know why I got into that, but I just had to say that. All right, so let's just get entwined with this person's energy and to see what we got going on, okay? And you know what I realize with my allergies is every time that I'm reading, like, I'll be fine until I come on camera. <laughs> I'll be fine until I do these readings, it's like the universe is like, not even the universe, but something is like blocked and like, don't want y'all to know it, okay? To know what's really popping. But it's cold too. It's not helping. I'm leaving the door open because it's kind of like, it helps with the light. But it's cold. It's getting cold, y'all. 
All right, so what's this person's energy, Holy Spirit? What's this person's energy towards Scorpio? What's this person's energy towards Scorpio? Look at that, Five of Swords. Oh no. Three, the Moon, the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. You look like you're in reverse here. Then you have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, you're in reverse. You're in reverse. This person took a toll on you. And you know the other thing that I'm also feeling too? Because I saw the Empress coming up. And it's like this person appeared to be someone that wants to be committed. Be someone that loves to communicate. Be someone that is very secure in life. You know, all these queen energies. And they're actually in reverse. They lied to you. They're not a match. They're deceitful. They're a liar. They tricked you. They're, this is trickery. And I'm also seeing the moon here. Like your intuition picked this up. They're saying this. You're... They're putting all of this on paper. Three of Swords. They were out to get you. This is um. This is an energy that I'm picking up. I don't think. I mean, it could be someone that you're with, but this, the way this energy is coming up, you guys, it's like I'm getting an energy that, like a friend relationship that just want to destroy you, betray you. Like, someone is planning this. Like, someone planned this situation. And it's like, I saw red flags, too, because I'm seeing the Wheel of Fortune here, the Two of Wands. So, obviously, this happened before and before. Like, there was a cycle that was going on here. And this person had a choice, and they made the wrong move here. They made a choice that wasn't you. Wow, tell me more, Holy Spirit. Okay. Even the 1111, it seems off within your future energy. This is a burden to carry. A lot of you have a contract with this person or a child. You were very much warned before this even happened. So when this child came about, you were warned to not to do this. Um, you saw red flags. Your angel guys were trying to warn you, but you let it happen anyways. The page of swords energy. This person is jealous of you. But your angels are around you. This person is out to deceive you. I'm seeing that there's a lot of people that um, they're overwhelmed with. So this person, for those of you in a relationship, there is a third party here. Not even a third. I'm going to say multiple partners, okay? Multiple partnerships. Um, this is how crazy this is. But they know that you're waiting. This is crazy. There's a opportunity between you. Yeah, they're saying that you haven't moved on, right? This is you. This is you. This is you and it is what it is. You're waiting for an opportunity to talk to this person to see what you can do. You know, you're a lot of you Scorpios and uh, hey, I'm just reading the, the card. I'm the messenger, okay? You have the death card in reverse. I saw the death card earlier when we pulled. Um... Like I said, it could have been yours or it could have been this person's energy. And I'm seeing this death card in reverse within this person's energy. And they're saying that you are waiting for them. Because we saw within the energy that you are waiting for them. Okay? And they're confirming that you're waiting for them. And you're waiting for... That bird is so loud. Hi! How are you? <laughs> So, um, my goodness. So you're waiting for them and you're waiting for an opportunity here to happen between you and this person. You can't move on quite yet because you're waiting for something here. You're waiting for a change. Because look, the Ten of Pentacles is still in the upright. The Ten of Cup, the Ten of Wands is still in the upright. This person is telling me that you know, there is some kind of contract here and you're still like, you're still holding on to this, even though this is a burden, okay? There is no real stability. Like this person is not giving you the stability. You are creating the stability, which is like you're overworking yourself. You have everything on your back. You're overworking yourself within this connection. This is what I'm getting, okay? 
Gemini energy for those of you who are with a Gemini. I'm seeing lovers coming back up again. The Page of Pentacles. I'm also seeing the world here. The Eight of Swords energy. We also have the Hermit. There's a lot of spiritual calling going on here. There's a lot of backing up, like someone is backing away from this connection really quickly. I feel like it's morally about finding themselves, but I'm also seeing the chariot here. So that is happening really quickly. This person is confusing the heck out of me, okay? confusing me something about you so a lot of you are not in contact right now this is what I'm seeing um, some of you are some of you are not this person I'm seeing some kind of conflict between you you and this person if you guys are together that you're wondering if you know what should I make the first move or should this person or is this person going to make the first move and they're going to make the first move but they don't know what to do with this opportunity. I'm just going to let you know right now. There's a completion that is happening here between you and this person. So you guys, I'm seeing another separation happening here because you're feeling stuck. You're feeling like you're trapped. You're feeling like this person is lying to you, keeping things from you, keeping you in the dark. You know, this person is distant in themselves, right? Without telling you the truth. So there is going to be some kind of separation happening between you and this person. And then I'm seeing a cycle. This person rushing back, rushing back home, okay? Like they have some kind of like light bulb went off within this um, hermit energy, okay? Like they're being pulled to spirit, they're being pulled to heal, and suddenly they're going to come back to you and give you like, let's start, let's start over kind of vibe. That's what I'm getting. Let's start over kind of vibe. And that's the cycle. But this person is very deceitful. But you're in your power. I, I love this energy for you, Scorpio, because you're just like in this prayer mode. You're in this protection mode. You're seeing things. Your third eye chakra is open. Whatever deceit and lies and betrayal, even in the future, what this person have done is not going to affect you because you're not going to be stressed. You do have a decision to make within this judgment here in reverse because you haven't because you're keeping this option open i'm just a messenger i'm saying that you're keeping it open because it looks like you are um you're you're waiting for this person to choose you to give you this nine of cups energy but you know that your cups are pretty much empty i'm gonna tap into your energy real quick and see what we have with these animal cards really quickly for scorpio what is the energy for scorpio what is the energy? What is the energy for Scorpio? Wow, the fish. Ooh, the fish. You're clearing your energy. You're purifying yourself. A lot of you, you're doing a cleansing too. Um, be careful with this energy, you guys, because every time I see fish, for me, symbolizes new birth or some kind of child within the womb. So if you guys are not ready for this, just be careful. You could be cleansing yourself to even have a child um, or even praying over your body or eating better or something like that to get your body ready for birth. So just be careful with this one. But I feel like, you know what, you are releasing a lot of energy and trying to like tap into being your, in your intelligence and in your wisdom and trying to move that way. Because this is your energy, Scorpio. You're in a form of transformation here within the butterfly. You're keeping hope alive, even though I'm seeing like um, you've been through a lot of deceit and you have your reasons to not even want to, to have hope again or to keep that hope alive you have that reason because this person that is coming up here I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you right now the five of swords is in the upright and this person is very deceitful and they're in their present moment of this so they're not even willing to change anything about that so most likely a lot of you are going to experience this force of energy for a long time if you want to deal with this person so whatever they did to you here um, even though they're, I'm seeing that the hermit energy is um, here, right? And they're learning um, spiritually or some kind of spirit. Like, I feel like they're being guided to understand something here, right? Within the spirit. And I feel like 
it's like they're going to get that wisdom with that crown chakra but and this is why the energy have shifted so quickly they're rushing towards you trying to come back home um feeling like there is something going on like something beautiful about you and they're like okay waking up and trying to give you another chance it's like someone is telling them like you're stupid because this is a person or um you know you, they have some kind of dream or something within this moment or they went camping and kind of like missed you or had this like missing energy of you okay why there is a fur on my lips oh god you guys i'm just saying okay but that's what i'm getting here I'm seeing you overcome and I'm seeing like, you know, you're going to be receiving the <sighs> receiving the clarification that you need, like the the karma, like good karma is on your side, so a lot of good things are coming your way, but at the same time this person is very you know, has a lot of things that they need to address, you know, has a lot of things or a lot of energy that they need to work on. Let's see. Tell me more, Holy Spirit, for Scorpio. Okay. Wow, it's saying love who you are, Scorpio. Love who you are here. Um, I'm getting like this person might have tried to discredit you or take away your self-esteem. Make you feel, of course, because they're in a five of swords. Very cold and very like malicious that they're like letting you feel like there is no one that can love you the way that they do but you have your spirit guide your spirit guides are with you you know because i'm seeing like you're very much protected and guided and that's another thing that i was getting with the the magician like you're tapping back into your power you're praying a lot like, this is what this person doesn't know. Like, your third eye chakra is wide open. Like, you might not say much, but you already know what's going on. And the moon is in the upright within this person's energy, and they don't know, like, it's still time for you to make this right, if that makes sense. And it says that I love us. So, there's a bird here, too. Two birds. I am seeing like there is more of you for some reason. I don't know why I'm saying that. Like spiritually. And it's like you're going through the same thing. It's trying to like recognize yourself. A lot of you are on your way to meet your 1111, your twin flame connection. Or let's see. Yeah. Like you're doing a good job it says badass here divine badass so you think that you're losing yourself and you're not doing a good job you're worried but you don't need to be because I'm seeing worry is a wasted emotion for you okay because you're doing a really good job your ancestors are really proud of you okay Yeah, I'm seeing like twin flame energy. So some of you might be just dealing with your twin flame connection right now. You're quite different. But it works. This is what I'm seeing. Number 10. guys are different but at the same time it just works with this energy i'm seeing rock star you guys so it's like you're doing a wonderful job you think that you're not but you are you're a rock star like your your guys are telling you like hey you're doing a good job here you're a badass you're a rock star don't let anyone tell you different that's what i'm seeing here hmm 
All right, so let me just see what we have here for Philadelphia. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. I think it's going to pour today, you guys. There is no blue, blue skies anywhere, okay? I'm seeing abandoned spying. I'm seeing reveal, like the secrets are going to be revealed. I'm seeing that this person is holding back from you as well. Someone is watching you here. Somebody's watching you, and I feel like we had a clarification of that too within the Three of Wands. It's like they're trying to figure out how to get to you from a distance because they are going to be rushing towards you. They're going to figure it out. This is, I'm getting the well energy as well. Like, this is so deep. Depth, intimacy, like withdrawal. Like, this person is. Wow, confirmation, you know, backing away from this connection here. You've been loyal to this person. This person has a huge ego. And that made this huge delay of where this relationship can go. Um, spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally. It's like they made this mess, you know. Um, yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that, but... If you want this deck, you guys, it's the Seeker Tarot. I will have the link down below, okay? To get in touch with that. But I'm also seeing you're having a hard time, Scorp. I've been getting that energy, like this keep this hope alive energy, which is fine. But I don't want to see any comment section, like comments in the comment section saying that I'm over this person, but I'm the messenger. And it's saying this, okay? And the reason why this energy is coming up because you're not over it. All right. Let's see. Holy Spirit. Holy Angels. Holy Father. What is going on? Whoa. Scorpio energy. What is going on here? For Scorpio. What is the energy? Simple love. Simply love. That's what's going on. Simply love. That's it. You're going through a lot and everybody's wondering why you're still holding on to this, this burden that you're still holding on. And this person is even revealing that this burden is still being held on to. They don't even know why this is being held on to because they're, they know that they're a burden, but it's still being held on to. All right. Sacrifice. You did a lot of sacrifice here. Um, this is the hangman energy as well for those of you. So it's like I'm just getting like whatever this person was distanced about. This person will come around. I'm seeing the rainbow here. I'm seeing victory. I'm seeing like there is going to be some kind of purification or some kind of um, growth within this relationship. But I feel like you want more from this person. This is what I'm seeing in the four. So I'm seeing the disconnect and boredom. Like you want something more. Like you feel like this relationship is kind of boring at this point. Like whatever you guys have been going through has been a cycle, okay, between you and this person. So you want more when it comes to your stability, to when it comes to your foundation. I'm seeing the three here. I'm seeing partnerships and alliance. So oof. it's like I'm getting like number three and the three is the three of swords or the three of pentacles or the three of cups it could be either or it could be very much a deep connection where it's just really severe and hurtful but it could also be about a love and um foundation or even a moving on process a new beginning um this is what i'm seeing like you're just like about to shake hands with this person even in the future you rather want peace this is what i'm seeing you don't want to like but it's a yeah, you don't want to keep going into this um, energy where there's a lot of disruption here or you're being cut into pieces and you're one part of you are here, one part of you are there to like serve everyone. You know, you want to serve yourself within this energy. Look at that. Fulfillment and wish of wishes. You're going to be good. I never had this card before. Number nine. And it's showing up here. It says fulfillment and wishes. And I have a whole bunch of cards, but this one just never came up. So you are going to be in, embodying that energy. 
and there's a lot of green here so look at that that leaf you're standing on this leaf I also see moving on and that could be any other way it could be moving from this connection for those of you are moving towards this connection okay number eight finding something finding something out how to work this out how to better yourself within this um, situation here or it could just be you know being still you know the eight of swords in this connection feeling like again you're trapped within this connection and but you're trying to find your way out moving forward there's movement here spreading your wings a lot of you are traveling or taking up something that you have put aside for so long can i have more holy spirit Ooh, finding the balance in this situation number two i'm getting two twos here i love this deck it's crazy <laughs> it's just crazy okay um i'm getting like there's going to be a choice for you another two? Oh my god divine timing here okay your wishes oh the waiting the, the waiting game that's what it says the waiting game you guys tell me more wow i'm seeing a lot of your experience in your um this is another two your sexual desire something about this energy and you is like that's how you guys met listen oh my god oh my god i'm getting two 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 and two you guys all 22 22 energy so a lot of choices a lot of new beginnings this is what i'm seeing for you a lot of choices and a lot of new beginnings are coming your way you're going to have i feel like this person even this person is a choice because i'm seeing them coming to you coming home to you you're gonna have a choice to make um a lot of you feel like you don't have a choice like you know things are against you but i'm seeing like you have a choice i'm gonna end it here you guys because this is creeping me out two 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 all these two out of this freaking big ass deck that i doubled same supplier by the way same person that made these but i'm just like i doubled them and it's like all these two coming out. But this is what I have. I hope it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. Like this video. Give this video a big thumbs up here on your channel. And I'll see you guys in your next one. I, I will probably push out another video. Comment below, comment below what you want me to push out. If it's a no contact or if it's a 48 or a single, just comment below in the description. In Oh my God. I'm so creeped out. In the comment section, Scorpio. And I'll do it um, if I'll do it, okay? But just comment below. And yeah, it depends on my energy. You know, I'm trying to take it easy. Um, I'm probably going to Florida. My mom is already on the road, but my aunt is sick. And they gave her bad news, of course. Um, but we're still keeping hope alive. And, you know, so... She just came out of surgery and she's in, um, you know, they moved her into a private room because she was in ICU for a long time and, you know, that's where they're trying to get you stable and then when you're stable, they move you out to another room. But now she, you know, she was able to get surgery so they moved her into another room now and now she's in recovery. Um, but, you know, that's just for the operation, okay? So... I might be going to Florida. My mom is going to be there for two weeks, which is going to be a long time. So I do have time to get myself together. Um, and, you know, my cats are here, so I have to make sure they're okay. And, yeah, and just go, you know, and, and just see her because, you know, I've been through this with my dad. And it's just crazy, man. This cancer thing is getting out of control, y'all. It's just I hate talking about it. I hate saying the word. It's like the devil itself that that word because you can be talking about it and you could be have it everyone has it inside of them but you don't know when it's gonna start acting up you know but anyways love you guys and keep my family in your prayers if you don't mind and just send all the love here for me i love you so much you guys i'm gonna tell you something you guys helped me like you guys help me every day that I have this, I swear to God, if I didn't have you, 
I would not be here today because life, you know life is rough, you guys. We are all going through, I'm going through mental, you know, healing every day. I have depression. You know, some people have it more where they have to go on, dis um, oh my God, medication. Um, and I'm just happy. I, I think, you know, I don't want to be on medication because I feel like, you know, I don't need it. But there are some t times that I'm like, you know, like really like the thoughts, right? You, you think about dark thoughts a lot. And you just think of yourself, you hear this voice sometimes in your head, even though on the outside, you know, you are beautiful. You are a beautiful person. But I just want to talk to y'all. I just, you know, I read on here. But sometimes, you know, your girl just want to talk to y'all. So I hope y'all don't come for me in the comment section for that. Um, Because some people are just not, you know, with it. But I just feel like if it was not for you, y'all, to have a purpose every day to just look at your sweet comments and to just let me a lot of you be like keep going keep going keep going it's like it's just so sweet you know and a lot of people don't have that a lot of people don't have y'all you know to support and to show love and I swear to y'all, it's like when I first started the channel, we used to have a, a struggle with the comment section because there were some people that just come about and try to like leave horrible comments, right? And then now I don't know what y'all did with the comment section, but it's all positive and love. And I thank you for that so much because even my mom said it, it was like my play, she was nervous when she came over here because it's a new audience and she know how people can be very cruel and stuff. And she was like, damn, you got the best people on your channel. You got the best people. And I'm like, I know. And I, I don't know what happened. I don't know how I got so lucky. Like, it just happened. You know? And I'm just so, I thank my divine. I thank my Lord. I thank my angel guides. And we don't thank them enough. But I thank you guys for just giving me the most beautiful souls in the world to support me but it's just you know i'm going through a lot of transitions in my life like my father then my love of my life died then now my aunt is go is sick and it's like it's not good it's not looking good and it's like it's just too fast and i don't know if i told you guys i lost an aunt when she was 37 and she was the best thing in the family she got us, you know, together every every summer we used to go over our house to spend the summer. She got everybody. That was the aunt that got everybody in the same room, right? And to celebrate, whether it's a trip or something like that. It's just, and then she died, you know, so unexpected and so young. And that really, when that happened, I was like, wow, I can't believe it. You, you still can't believe it. But it didn't affect me to a point where I viewed the world as in it's a good world, but it's also a bad world. It's a, it's, it's, and it's not the world, it's the people, you know, the people that make choices to do stuff like that, to take people's lives and to, you know, make decisions to affect other people. And, but I didn't see that until my, my love of my life, my love of my life died. Even when my father died, I expected it because he prepped me for his death. And when I say prepped, he said to me, like, I'm not going to be here forever. You need to come and see me. Like, he kept warning me and telling me, like, he's not doing too well. Like, he, it was expected. Like, he prepped me for what's going to come. And, but with my love of my life... It's like, it just happened. Like, one moment, he was good, living his life, and then the next, it was like... And this is a person that I always look at as being strong and nothing can touch him. He's just like, you know, his body seemed to me as being the strongest. Like, he was stronger than me. Like, I, I look at him as being very strong and he gives me advice and he, you know, tell me, he, he sees the world and he knows the world and he tells me, like, 
you know, what, when I don't see things, because I see the love in everything, and he just keeps me logical, you know? So, when that happened, even up to this day, I just can't, still can't believe it, you know, because, but it is what it is, I have to live through this, and I'm like, damn, I'm young, how am I, because see, I'm not a people's person, I'm a Scorpio, so I'm not a people's person where I'm going to go out, you know, and try to meet new people, that's not me, I I rather meet someone in my family and even this dating online thing. I I don't know how people do it, but it's that's the new norm, right? Um, dating online and I was talking about that with my mom the other day and I was like, Oh God. When I met my love of my life, it was family. It was like he was already in my family. It was like, you know, like they hanged out and so they introduced us. It was just very natural you know that it was supposed to happen so I didn't do much and he fell in love with me first time he saw me I didn't have to say a word it was he just saw me fell in love and that was that you know so you know it's like I'm young I'm still human I'm still in this body obviously your body have needs and can't be by yourself forever but it's like I wouldn't want to put somebody through that where I'm just like looking at this person that I'm dating and thinking about somebody else, you know, my mom tell me like, cause she'd been through the same thing too with, you know, someone that she loved and passed away. Um, the same situation as me. And, um, and she moved on and, you know, she's assuring me that I will too, but it's just going to take time, you know, cause now she's married and she, you know, she's not, you know, there, she still has that love for that person, but you have you you move on you know you have to move on with your life um whatever that is for you so whatever if you guys are going through the same thing as me you know let me know where you at in this process and because i'm at a place i i don't really want to title where i'm at with my emotions but i'm i've been walking around the house and i just feel like okay you know like you are okay but it's like, you don't know if you're okay kind of thing. It's like, I'm walking around. I'm like, okay, well, I seem to be fine. Like, I'm seeing like, it's not like when it first happened. Like, I just, I felt like this hole was in me. Like, it's not that anymore. I feel like it's just a different part of, you know, trying to heal or grief, dealing with grief. I don't know what to call this because I'm just walking around. I'm like a little hopeful now. It's just so crazy that how grief is and how the stages of griefs are. And I don't know because I could be okay today and tomorrow I'll be sobbing, crying. And, you know, I don't even want to talk about it because I feel like when I dwell on that and when I see like letters that he wrote, write me and, and looking at pictures, it's... It's a little bit, that's what kills me, you know? I, I don't feel like I'm, I'm there yet. But, y'all, and now I have to get ready for my aunt, you know? That, I asked my mom today, like, did, did anyone ask her how was she doing? Because, you know, when you're going through a lot of situations and life changes, and doctor reports and what they have to tell you and their opinion on, on your life, it's like, did, I, did anyone ask her how she is taking this? How is her mental health? You know, because this is a lot to know that you have done everything that you can to save your life. And there is nothing else that they can do. Um, and my father, he was in Jamaica when he was diagnosed at stage four. Um, and uh, they couldn't even put him on chemo. So he went through the pain. All they did was give him painkillers. But the painkillers really didn't work. You know, I just feel like he went through the pain raw with cancer. And it's just crazy. You know, he will ask me to look at his back and ask me if there's a, a, a mole there or a bump there because he's scratching it. And I'm like, looking at his back and I can't see anything and 
I'm like, Dad, I don't see anything, but it's in there, all those, you know, tumors, right? The cancer. So it's just so crazy. I didn't even know that my family has cancer, you know, genetics, um, that we always had like high blood pressure or things like that, you know, like we are like we eat. So food is our enemy. <laughs> We eat, we cook, you know, so, you know, food and, you know, high blood pressure, you know, um, diabetes, eating a lot of sweets, you know, stuff like that is our family. But then I found out my father's side, they have a lot of depression in their family, in their, on that side, on my dad's side. So that was interesting. And then I found out, you know, my mom also deal with depression and, you know, the family, but, you know, on my mom's side but people just don't talk about it and that's the thing because they feel like depression is weak um, is you being weak in life and it's not that case at all it's, if you have it the first thing you could do when you go to the doctor they're like how's your mental health <laughs> okay because they know like mental health is such a thing um, so it's not you being weak, it's genetic. If your family has mental health, most likely you're gonna have the same situation, okay? But, um, I don't know, I just felt like to talk to you guys and I hope you guys don't come for me, but I just, I don't care. I just want you guys to, to not only be here for the readings, you know, yeah, you're here for your messages, but to connect, you know, cause I see you guys in the comment section connecting with each other. So why can't I connect? Why can't I connect with y'all? But anyways, I'm going to end the video. Love you guys and take care of your mental health. And if you're going through the same thing I'm going through, just trust the process because that's what I'm doing. Because I, you know, when I, when I, when my, when the love of my life died in the beginning, I couldn't breathe. I had the hardest time in here breathing in this house. Like I just could not breathe. I will cry four times a day and I'm just looking at myself now and I'm like a totally different person. I'm still like missing him, but it's like, it's like he's with me trying to heal me for, cause he, I had a dream that he was like really mad at me and he was like, what are you doing? You need to live your life. <laughs> yeah. You know, he was just like yelling at me, talking about I need to live my life. What am I doing? Don't worry about him. Yeah, that's what he was telling me in my dream. And I'm like, but every time I dream him like that, he's always like so like, like, so like frustrated. Because when I dreamt him a lot, uh, other time, I was walking and I was walking with him and I was like, is this for real? Is this really happening? Are you really here? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, but you died. And he was like, why is everybody saying that? <laughs> yeah. He was telling me, like, he was mad. Like, why is everybody saying I'm dead? Like, I'm not dead. I was like, but you are dead. But I, when he said that, I was like, shocked. Like, you know, like, okay. You know? But he was like, yeah, I don't know. That's what I've been getting from him. But anyways, y'all, I'm going to end this. I love y'all. Thank you so much for your love and support, and I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.